Good morning world from Mexico. I wanted to give you some tips on security. I didn't even put my lipstick on or get prettied up for you. <laughs> I had a little bit of a rough night with the musica blasting from my fellow neighbors. Um, anyway, one thing that no one tells you uh, because there's a lot of people that write me, especially women over the age of uh, 55, 65, and so forth. Here's the deal. I've been traveling by myself since uh, the age of like 45. So I'm 65 now. And here's what I've noticed. It gets a bit easier because... Um, you can dress less provocatively when you are in your 60s. <laughs> See, you don't even know you're dressing provocatively, but you're younger and you show skin a lot and stuff like that. And you don't realize that when you're alone in other countries, um, it's inviting a lot of looks, um, but you don't know that you're doing that. You're just being comfortable and wearing something that you want to wear that day but what I've realized is now that I'm older and wiser I would say is that um, less people are scrutinizing me and I'm actually happy about that I'm not trying to call attention to myself and I think a lot of people worry about security in regards to that and um, it's actually easier when you've got some age to um, deflect attention um, because you know honestly I'm proud of my wrinkles and <laughs> no I'm now being called senora not so much senorita but that's fine because you're not seen as a 20 year old dumb target that they can take advantage of honestly i mean sure you might not be dumb in your 20s but you're you you look hot and so um it's it's kind of equated with um oh well that person doesn't know because they're wearing a short skirt or whatever so it kind of like draws in this bad attention um in other countries course I guess it could work in the US and I've never had a problem of that in Europe I think Europe is the best place to be if you want kind of an equality equal egalitarian perspective on your life um, and I get that's another video but anyway what I wanted to say is that it's it's safer and more secure than you think because you're not being noticed as much in regards to your look um now okay so there's that but then you can be regarded as uh someone to scam so you know here's some scams to be aware of um so when you go to pay something um if you really don't know the denominations of the money and this has happened to me a couple of times here um they'll try to give you back less money than you gave them for change so try to do exact change if you can't when you hand over the money say the amount of money it is and you can also say what you're handing them so there's no there's no misunderstanding <laughs> um, so that's happened to me twice and so there's that scam and then there's just the scams in regards to people seeing you as a ATM and um, that you don't know enough that, for example, I'm on my block where I'm staying and I'm looking at dresses down the street and this one is $75. It's something you would pay $20 in the US. It's not handmade. I know it's not. Um, and she thinks I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't pay $75 for a dress in in the US, I used to do that, but now I know I can get better prices. So um, I don't have to pay that price and it's not worth it to me to pay three times. I, didn't, I don't come to Mexico to pay more money than I would in the US. I just don't. 
you can get better prices here but you have to be aware of um, what things cost where you are what city you're in that kind of thing so the whole point of this uh, video is to explain that there is um, a way to be safe especially because you might be an elder traveling by yourself um, if you need help you can pay for it um, you know, there's always people in hotels that you can pay a little extra to help you carry stuff or go buy something or whatever that are, uh, you know, they're working for the hotel. So you're going to be safe in that regards. Um, one good thing about a hotel is that you can tell the staff where you're going so they know where you are. Um, not so in an Airbnb or a VRBO. You have your privacy, yes, but... Um, you don't have another person to back you up. Um, so there's that. But I have noticed that it's actually gotten safer. And yes, I have a lot more experience 14 years into this, traveling by myself in 35 countries um, and enjoying it greatly. Um, but the main thing is that you don't want to present a vulnerable front because you already are vulnerable. <laughs> Um, so like you're not looking at maps or looking at your phone all the time as you're walking on the street and you have a purse that looks like it's going to be hanging off you and easily stealable. It's just little things like that. But what I found is I'm actually enjoying the less attention I got because I'm uh, being regarded as a senora rather than a senorita. And that's fine because it makes it easier to go about as a local. I like that, um, especially because when you're by yourself, this isn't the same if you're with somebody else. So if you're watching security videos, it, you can't really, don't really listen to people that travel in, in couples or a group because it's not the same thing whatsoever. You're seeing, I have my earplugs in because um, I woke up to a cacophony of men talking at 7 a.m. too loudly outside my window um that's my why my eyes look like this so anyway i just want to assure you that it's safer than you think because you have more of a cover with your age aging with attitude is actually fun because um you can talk with people in a more, you don't have to be considered flirtatious immediately. You can just be considered as a friend, you know, but then when they start asking where you're staying or if you're married and all that stuff, I mean, there's certainly people out there that want to get out of their country and want to marry you to make it happen. So be aware of that. It doesn't matter what age you are. Um, but comment below and if you have questions about security in countries that you kind of consider not so safe, let me know and I'm happy to answer you. So have a beautiful day and it was fun chatting with you. I'm here by the river waking up and adios.